Tarte does have in their terms of service. If you post a photo of their products on social media, you are agreeing to the contract and the terms of service on their website that they can use it any way they want without compensation or credit. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking. I hope that you are here for a conversation. I hope you're here to drag Tarte with me. I actually hope that you're not just here to drag Tarte. I'll be the first to admit that was a clickbait title. Tarte will be dragged. However, this is actually a coffee date to discuss an issue that is bigger than just Tarte as much as I would like to just say that this is a Tarte issue. Now, if you are new to my channel in the sense that you don't even follow makeup news and you are even more clueless about makeup brands than I am, then you may not even know who Tarte is. Tarte Cosmetics. Tarte Cosmetics is a big deal. Uh, they are one of the better known brands in all of America, possibly the world. Here in the States, if you walk into any Ulta, Sephora, get online and look at makeup, Tarte pops up big time. They are kind of, in my opinion, royalty when it comes to making very neutral and neutral pink palettes. It's their jam, it's what they do, it's their bread and butter. They've got tons of eyeshadow palettes that in my opinion all look the same. They have tons of blush that actually looks beautiful. It's a, it's a more natural kind of look. They don't have wild colors, bold colors, but they're a staple in a lot of people's cosmetics wardrobe, as well as the whole world being in love with Tarte Shape Tape, which is apparently the ultimate in concealers, or so we've been led to believe over the last year. But this video is not my review on Tarte's Shape Tape, though I do need to take a second and say that everything that Tarte has been dragged about in the last month is warranted. Again, for those of you who don't know what's been going on in the beauty community, and maybe you are just starting to stick your toe in a little bit of what's going on, this is one of the biggest cosmetic companies in the world. And then, the swatches. Fifty Shades of White. Can, can you see the color of my cappuccino. Imagine this in about 15 different variations. Yeah. 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 If you've already heard all this and you're not here for drama, just stick with me for another 30 seconds because I promise this part's going to end. I did want to uh, explain all this though for whoever watches this video who may not know the context of why I'm talking about dragging tart. Mistakes happen, cosmetic companies, people, any company, any person, we all make mistakes sometimes. And I do believe that for most mistakes, we deserve the opportunity to apologize and possibly explain ourselves. And even if there is no explanation or no good reason for what happened, just the opportunity to sincerely apologize and explain that we're going to do better and how. Tarte got that opportunity. They got interviewed about their limited shade range and their reaction is they released the foundation in winter so people don't have tans and don't need deeper colors yet. Is that not some seriously insulting bullshit? We're in 2018 and I'm already sick of hearing that line but it's true. We are in America in 2018. So Tarte has been dragged and dragged and dragged and I am all for dragging them. Throughout 2017, there was a huge problem with their financial security from all customers who ordered anything on the Tarte website and they actually really tried to sweep that under the carpet so hard. And then with Tarte, there was a little recognized controversy that happened sometime back in autumn. So I follow Beauty Sleuth Official on Instagram. This account tries to provide some information that you may need to be aware of. That's how I found out about the security breach on the Tarte website. They don't just drag Tarte. It's not about dragging anything. It's about informed consumerism and occasional dragging. Back in November, 
There was a post about Tarte Cosmetics taking advantage of a small beauty blogger. This beauty blogger slash Instagrammer said that some of her photographs were being used on the Tarte website, actually on the Tarte Instagram page and their website and potentially even in advertising. So it wasn't exactly clear whether this blogger was accusing them of using her photographs in actual ads or if she's just saying by using her photographs anywhere that they are freely advertising their products with her work. Here is her, one of her official quotes. Thank you everyone for being so kind. I'm not asking Tarte for anything and only showing my frustration with how they treat people. I'm a blogger and work hard to take these photos for my page so that the people following can enjoy them. I never take a pic expecting a company to give me anything. They never asked me to, but when a company uses my photos so much in over seven months while never replying to my emails or even my DM because she asked them for proper credit and to stop using them, her photos if she wasn't going to, then yes, I get irritated. I don't work for Tarte, especially not for free. That is where I'm coming from. Also, I have looked at policies for both Instagram and Tarte, and nowhere do I see anything about tagging them or using a hashtag giving them the rights to your photos. Instagram says to ask permission. From an intellectual property standpoint, I definitely had an issue and thought, what they're doing is really shady. I get very frustrated that professional photographers or anybody for that matter, post pictures online and people say, oh, well it's public domain. No, just because something's online does not make it public domain. That's, that's, that's one of the most ignorant things. Oh, it makes me so mad as an artist to hear people say, if it's online, it's public domain. No, if it's online, it's publicly viewable. There's a huge effing difference and it's not the same thing. If my camera, it, to me that's the same thing as saying, if my camera is in my yard and you see it, you can just take it. Obviously nobody would agree with that. Doesn't mean it wouldn't get stolen anyhow, but that's not what people, people know better. People know that just because you see my camera doesn't mean you get to take it and call it yours. It means it's still my camera and you're stealing it unless you come ask, hey, can I have that camera or can I borrow that camera? What happened is I was explaining on there in a comment that intellectual property theft is a real thing and that just because it's online does not at all mean that it is fair game for anyone to do with as they please. And if I was understanding the woman correctly, the blogger, she is saying that Tart was actually using her, her pictures for ads. Though I think she was just kind of using the word advertising in a looser base as of they're using my photos to promote their work on Instagram, which to me is not quite the same thing as, uh, I mean, it is using it for their self promotion and they are doing it for free, but it's still not the same thing as like running a campaign ad with your work in it uncredited. And somebody commented to me that I was wrong and that Tarte has it in their terms of service that if you post a photo of their products, they can do that. And I thought, she's got to be out of her mind. And I think I even told her, I think you have to be out of your mind. There's no way something so ridiculous exists. And she so graciously and so coolly is like, yeah, actually it does. And gave me the link to it. And sure enough, Tarte does have in their terms of service. If you post a photo of their products on social media, you are agreeing to the contract and the terms of service on their website that they can use it any way they want without compensation or credit. So I had to kind of eat my words and it got me thinking, well, then Tarte is definitely canceled. And in fact, I shot an entire video that I never got around to editing or posting and right now I'm thankful I didn't that drags Tarte on this and I called them out on an anti-haul. I won't ever purchase from them again on no other basis than this intellectual property fiasco that they are secretly and sly slyly pulling on their customers. I'm done with you, Tart. You're out, you're canceled. Now granted, 
Now I have many more reasons to cancel Tarte. I actually saw another article on Petapixel about a professional skateboarding photographer who the same thing was happening to him. A brand that does skateboard apparel, I believe, decided to repost his images on Instagram. And basically he wasn't having that. So he contacted them and asked for $25 for the repost to which they laughed at his face about it. It got me thinking about other companies and wondering how prevalent is this terms of service agreement that we all agree to and yet have never read. I'd already figured out that Tarte has this condition in their terms of service and agreement, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. And I decided to just kind of randomly pick a few other cosmetic companies and search for their terms of service online and see what I could find. Urban Decay, another mainstay in American and International Girls Makeup Wardrobe. There says, thank you for engaging with Urban Decay on Instagram. Mind you, of course, because you can't really have terms of service link on your Instagram page. These are things you can only access by going to these companies' personal websites. Permission terms, you grant to Urban Decay and its parent, affiliates, and or related entities, collectively, UD, the right to use your social media handle, moniker, name and or photographs, uploads, videos, comment, testimonials, likeness, and other submissions in addition to those you have tagged with hashtag Urban Decay Yes or a UD campaign hashtag. So in addition to those hashtags, anything you post, in perpetuity and for any brand marketing, any advertising, and any promotional purposes, including but not limited to on UrbanDecay.com, in social media, on third-party retail sites featuring Urban Decay, print materials, in-store, or digital advertising. So Urban Decay puts it all right there for you. If you post a photo of their products, they can use it any way they want, whatsoever, whensoever. You have already given them permission just by taking the picture. Urban Decay may use, reproduce, distribute, combine your post with other materials, alter, and or edit it in any manner in its sole discretion. You hereby represent and warrant that, one, you own all rights in and to your post. Two, you have permission from any persons appearing in your post to grant the rights therein. Three, you are not a minor. Four, Urban Decay use of your post will not violate the rights of any third party. You hereby release, discharge, and agree to hold Urban Decay and any person acting on Urban Decay's behalf harmless from any liability related in any way to the use of your post. Let's just say you take a picture of your friend. You've done her face with Urban Decay makeup. You're an aspiring makeup artist. You take a photo. She looks bomb. You have rocked it out. You've used all Urban Decay products and you're really proud of yourself. So you take the picture you post on Instagram. You did not get your friend's permission to give that picture to someone else, but she's cool with you posting it on your Instagram account. So you post it, Urban Decay says, hey, I really like that. And in theory, they don't even tell you they like it. They just download the picture, they alter it a bit, and then they, next thing you know, you go in Ulta and Sephora, and there's the photo you took of your friend. Or, or forget friend, let's say client. Let's say client, you had a client. You are a, an aspiring makeup artist and you had a client. And next thing you know, her face is in storage from the photo that you took and you posted on your page and she's pissed because she did not agree to be a model for this. For some reason or another, she has got a real twig up her butt about it and is not okay with it, which is okay because it's her face and nobody asked her permission. Urban Decay is saying they are completely free of any liability for that. That's your fault because you're the one who posted the picture. Even if you had permission to post it, just not permission to give it to someone else to use in an international format. Now the odds of that happening are incredibly slim. That is not usually how these things go, but just saying legally that could happen now.
I most certainly think if they're going to use our work in an ad campaign, I think it should require permission. I definitely think it should require compensation, but it apparently doesn't. As somebody who posts how I feel about various products online and chooses to, because I do actually, I realize that shooting videos and posting YouTube videos feels like I'm doing a string of commercials, but it's sharing my feelings, my opinions on different products. And I do that with my girlfriends. I do that with my sisters. I do that with my mom. So I do that with strangers in Costco and strangers in Ulta. I actually stop people. If I see them looking at a product that I have experience with, I will, t I will stop and talk to them and tell them about it. You can ask my husband. He, has, he, he says that Costco should pay me because that I do it so much there. And I have convinced so many people to buy so many products just by being in the same aisle with them. I do believe in word of mouth marketing. I do believe in people sharing information. But if somebody used one of my videos or a photograph that I took on Instagram for part of their public ad campaign, you bet your britches that you PO'd. I would be so mad about it. It's not right. It's just, but unless I could take them to the court, I definitely have no argument with them. And frankly, I'm not even sure how a court case would hold up. Though I suspect with the direction that our technology and our advertising and our world is heading in, I suspect a court case, some sort of landmark decision court case will happen in the future that will dictate outcomes such as this. But until then, we just have to tread lightly and post things knowing that that Instagram's policy and corporate policies are never in our favor. So now I'm bummed out. I'm feeling very Big Brother-esque. I'm sitting and spinning on conspiracy theories and how the little guy has zero rights. And that is not fun. In fact, I do you see this? I, I lost my neck. I got so tense talking about all this that my shoulders started to work their way all the way up to my ears. All right, it's time to make another pot of coffee. Mug, mug of coffee, not a pot. I know that this video was a little heavy on jargon and legalese and words, 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 and not even interesting ones, just information. It was kind of like reading from a reference book or dictionary. So I hope it didn't bore you because I really do feel like this is valuable information. Uh, but please leave your comments. Talk to me about what you think or post your own video on YouTube or your own post on Instagram with what you think about this. And if you do post something on YouTube or Instagram, please post the link below because I want to see your reply to this. I want to see and hear from other people what their thoughts are because so far, other than some snappy short comments, on Beauty Sleuth officials, I have not heard or seen anyone talk about this with any depth whatsoever other than the photographer from Petapixel. And that was an amazing article. I will link it below. But seriously, like Queen of Bad Metaphors, like I said, if you're one of those people who thinks just because something's online, like there's a picture online, that it's public domain, free to use any way you want, you are wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. And if you want to continue to believe that, like, don't troll me in the comments because I'm not here for it. I don't want to hear it because you're wrong. Your car's outside. Can I just take it? Started off this video happy. Now I'm sad. I love you guys. God bless you. I love you. God loves you. I hope that you have some thoughts on this and if not I hope you think it over a little bit because I would like to hear what you have to say. Until next time, be creeped out by social media.